Hi, my name is Nathan Gage, and this is my project, Heartwarming. It's a game where you're a heartworm, and you share the heart with everyone else. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start it, because uh, I was just uh, getting done with the play. Uh, but the idea of this is that it's a, a smart enough to understand exactly what you want from your character, so you can ask it to do anything. So, it, I mean, and when I say anything, I mean literally anything. Um, it's based on what I programmed in, so there's only some abilities, but theoretically this could scale as much as you want it to. It's just a time constraint. So you could be an explosion-based worm, you could be an uh, anti-gravity uh, astronaut, uh, I can't spell it, astronaut worm, or I'm going to do a meteor worm, because that one's, uh, I think, the cooler one. Um, but you could you can put anything, it, you could say a, a character that is stealthy and a tank style bar if you wanted to, or anything. It, it, it understands what I, whatever you throw at it. So I hit start, and I'm going to be a meteor worm. So it takes a sec to load because it's actually loading from my API that I created. Over here you see it's, it's uh, generating. Um, but eventually I'm going to get these abilities, so I got uh, whenever I, I go quickly, I get an explosion. Whenever I take damage, I catch on fire. Uh, so you see, if I move quickly, I explode there. Um, the controls are very simple. It's left click and right click for the different sides, and you can attach to these triangular platforms. I fixed it on my. I have enough time to do the asset art for it. Um, but yeah, it's a simple climbing platformer, and right there is an enemy, so I'm going to attack him with my meteor ability, and boom, he's dead. And then I can fly back to the platform and try and attach. Uh oh, but I'm almost out of jumps. I don't think I can make this. Here, I'm going to try and attach there. Yeah, see? Um, so I ran out of jumps there. Um, you have health, so if, like, let's say I didn't have Meteor ability and I took damage, uh, that's how that would work. But it's really just a proof of concept for this character generating generation system. So there's four abilities right now and four triggers right now, but this can scale as much as I want it to. And it could even be more than just that. It could be items, it could be classes, it could be anything, really. It's just as long as I can program it, I can explain it. And this can even generate real code. Uh, so theoretically, you could have it uh, execute code on runtime. Uh, but that, that was a little bit out of scope for a hack. Uh, the other thing I did for this project was uh, the background texture generation. So this was generated in close to real time. It takes about five seconds to do this. Um, that includes uh, uh, segmenting the foreground so that you have like a nice separated texture with like alpha. Um, I didn't have time to turn this into an API and feed it into it, but uh, that was the intention. And this is fine-tuned and pre-trained to get pixel art. Um, uh, using some uh, embeddings with Stable Diffusion 1.5. Uh, so it is technically AI art, but I think it's a little bit more than that. Uh, because you could, uh, for example, feed uh, uh, one of the artist's concept art into it to get uh, production-ready, um, procedurally generated textures, uh, if you wanted to. Uh, obviously with a lot more fine-tuning and, and uh, careful work, uh, but I, I definitely think it's, it's possible. So that's a, uh, it's a proof of concept demo of my AI capabilities with this game uh, in a simple platformer, and I hope you guys enjoy.